Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. I am Cheryl Laidlaw. I am Angela Harkness. We have been and are still on a journey to discover the Metaverse, Web 3.0, NFTs and anything that we are required to know to join this world. From this podcast, we will help you to unlock how the metaverse is going to impact your brand, your business, and even your personal life. Join us as we take the mystery out of this new digital universe. Welcome to Women of the Metaverse. In this episode, we are going to explore how the metaverse and virtual reality will transform education at all levels. We believe that VR and learning in the metaverse have the potential to revolutionize education at all levels. So what examples do you have, Angela? Okay, so at a school in Hawaii, Douglas King, who is a computer science teacher, gave his classroom students an assignment to play Minecraft together in the hope that it would build teamwork in real life. He set them a challenge to build him an office that was completely underwater. Let me just say that Minecraft is a computer game, just for anyone that's not sure what Minecraft is. Anybody doesn't know. So it's very metaverse-y. You're in this world. You've got to work as a team. That's as much as I know. (laughs) Okay, that's cool. (laughs) The rules were it had to be enclosed in a glass dome. It had to be big. All elements had to be mined or donated from existing supplies, and it had to have plenty of trees, flowers, and other natural elements. What he saw from this assignment was how much more they came together, worked together, the natural leaders came forward, and people were assigned tasks that reflected their natural ability. The coming together in the metaverse with Minecraft and then having to work as a team showed how gamification was used to help transfer those skills to a real project. That project is a small example, and it's not truly in the metaverse, but it is using that technology to educate and bring children together, which I think is brilliant. I love this. I just love the fact that they have used a game for educational purposes. It just makes everything so much more fun. Yeah, well, instead of fighting against it and, oh, don't be gaming, don't be gaming, be like, okay, we can't fight this, so let's use it and use it for good purposes. And I agree. We, we love that teacher. We do love that teacher. It's brilliant. When education truly uses the metaverse and VR, one of the main benefits is that students can be part of a much more immersive experience whether they're exploring a country, imagine a student being able to visit across the other side of the world from them and understand and experience cultural cultural differences. Or say if they visited a historical monument, imagine how much more interested children would be if they could visit the pyramids and walk through the tomb of the Egyptians, or how much more engaged they would be if they could feel as if they are really visiting somewhere like Machu Picchu. Incredible. Or the immersive experience of swimming with sharks under the sea. I have done this and it's incredible. Not in real life. I mean, I I was going to say, I really, I don't really fancy that. It's, it, (laughs) it, it gives you that time. It gives you that feeling as, you know, like your stomach kind of like, oh, I'm frightened, but excited. It really is incredible. They swim all around you um it just I don't know it's really difficult unless you go into the metaverse to understand how real it can feel sometimes Mm -hmm. or imagine being taken back in time to study historical events and explore living in a different time period can you imagine this if we were at school instead of reading these things off the pages of a textbook that had been around for decades, you know, they were always beaten and ripped. Oh, weren't they? <laughs> dull as dishwater. Yeah, black and white, just, you know. Well, mine might have been in colour, but I mean. <laughs> I don't think mine were. So, oh, come on. You know, <laughs> no, I didn't know. I think mine were in colour, but some of them were so old that, you know, you're using textbooks from 
sometimes they're 20 years old. They, I mean, learning from the board is just so oh my God. 1990s now, isn't it? I, yeah. I would be so more interested in if I could actually see it. Even yes. having pictures of it. I didn't even have the internet at school. Or so. even a model. No, me neither. <laughs> well, like one computer. I think we had one computer. One, one per class. class. <laughs> no, not even per class. Like a year. There was a bus that came round and we got oh, to go goodness. on and, you know. Oh, well, you know, we, they we're don't old. Have they are, do they? <laughs> they don't. <laughs> okay, so there's a company called Edgiverse that is already offers these experiences Students can go on adventures around the world. They can experience walking the streets of London, climbing a mountain or hiking through the jungle. They can examine 3D models that may be complex to learn from. I mean, come on, we know it's complex to learn from books. Yeah. Um, such as the human cells or skeletons or different animals. Also, it enables teachers and students to either work independently, in groups or through teacher-led exploration. It also opens up different avenues of learning. Yes, yes, because people don't learn in just one way. We are all different. And at school, you tend to have to learn the way you are taught. But some, for example, find it incredibly difficult to learn from listening or trying to understand what is written on a whiteboard. I, for example, need to learn by doing. I don't understand as well by just reading from a book. Maths was always one of my poorest subjects, but if I was able to actually see maths in action instead of listening to a teacher trying to explain geometry, if I would have been able to manipulate geometric shapes, then maybe I would have understood it better. Yeah, the, other, the other aspect is that VR can help to simulate a certain ac action. For example, Medical students are using VR as part of their surgical training. I love this. this yes, is so this cool. is brilliant. Yeah. The reason why this is so effective is that it engages the, with the brain's motor system and it stimulates the same muscles as if you are doing it in real life, therefore creating muscle memory. So this is not just an advantage for children to learn motor skills, but for the type of training that has a degree of danger or can be expensive such as training surgeons or firefighters and pilots. However, to be fair, pilots have been using flight simulators for a long time, but the metaverse will be, and VR can make the experience seem more real, again, creating the power of muscle memory because you can retry and process repeatedly without an expensive and timely setup. For example, one of the required elements in firefighter training is to do exercises in very close spaces. This is why uh, I could never be a firefighter. Well, I, don't, I don't think it's for me either. I don't. I can't <laughs> do that. As we, as we have both experienced in the metaverse, VR headsets can be a very real experience. And you have all seen those videos of the game where people walk along the beam really high up above the city and how scared they are trying to balance and how they react when they fall. As a firefighter, you could experience different types of enclosed spaces with increasingly higher levels of danger until you are able to calm yourself and deal with the situation. And then you can go into the real training with your team. Those who struggle more would be able to do more exercise over and over and over again with no additional cost. That is just one small example. If you think of architects, it is incredibly complex field to study. But imagine that if you are able to use the VR and the metaverse in immersive learning to understand, why would you build a certain type of building on a certain time of foundation? How will it affect the structure? I mean, I think that this is already in place with the architectural world, actually. I think it's, I think there is a lot of it. I think a lot of them, like firefighters and surgeons, they already use it. But as the technology evolves, the more that they will be able to learn and more that will be able to be simulated through the metaverse. Mm -hmm. Because I was oh, thinking, I was thinking about architects, like how complex must it be to know if you build on a certain type of ground, how deep the foundation has to be and at a certain height, how the wind affects something and 
how a building moves using different materials. Like the whole, when I was, when I was thinking about this, I couldn't even imagine how much you need to learn to mm. understand all of that. It's incredible. Yeah. And the more you can use the metaverse and VR to learn from that, probably the better you're going to be. And it, it will make it more real for you, I would but imagine. I think it will make sh learning time shorter as well. Degrees yeah. Now be like, you know, two years. Maybe, but also if you're, if there's a certain thing that you don't understand or you can't do by using VR in the metaverse, because like, for like a pilot to go into a fight simulator, that costs a lot of money and they cost a lot of money to build. Mm -hmm. And the same with firefighters, they have to have buildings for that. But if you could do an exercise over and over and over and over again until you then feel better about it, you can keep up with the rest of your class rather than feeling like you've fallen yes. behind. Yes, definitely. As someone that was always behind, yeah, I would me have too. loved that opportunity to, have, yeah. you know, keep up. Yeah, me too. So the other element of this is distant learning, distance learning. It, I'm going to start that again. The other element of this is distance learning. It opens up the chance for children who may not have the best education options available close to them at all levels. Whether the child is young and lives remotely or if you can't attend a university because the course you want is too expensive to move for, or students who may struggle in school environment, whether that be for physical or mental health reasons, the option to learn on your own through VR or join a classroom environment is now possible. I think the development of VR and the Mythverse opens up incredible opportunities to fundamentally shake up education I am not a big believer that school should be just about two plus two equals four. And I know through experiences that everyone is very different and learns very differently. And just because you are not academic doesn't mean you are not intelligent. I think that school should be about learning skills that help you live in a world and be creative and innovative to ensure you have high self-esteem and that you understand your own skills and talents when you leave education. Imagine a school that taught for a child's real interest. And this is where gamification com continues to play an incredibly important role in education. Let's take a child that doesn't show any interest in school, but loves football. You can teach that child immersively through their love of football. Maths. If you kick a ball at a certain velocity, how far would it travel? Biology through the actions of how a footballer's body responds to a game. Sports science as to learn nutrition will impact how they play. Geography is how the weather affects a game. English through sports reporting and journalism. Teamwork, strategy management of people, leadership. History can be taught through football what important world events were also taking place throughout the history of football? If you have a student that is into fashion, we have talked about and, and encouraged this before in our past episodes. There are so many elements that can be taught enabling education through fashion design. Maths through the cutting and the structure of a pattern, the creativity of creating a design and the understanding of the chemistry of the fabric creation but also through the cost of creating clothing. Commerce through selling that piece of work, writing about fashion, virtually visiting fashion shows, history via clothes and fashion have changed through the ages, even geography with clothes and fashion around the world. A teacher could set the same assignment, but through the metaverse and VR, they could complete the assignment using a subject that they're really interested in. That's just bloody genius. Yeah, could you imagine if that's how you were taught? And I came up with, well, I didn't come up with the idea. I remembered listening, and this was years and years and years ago, about a young boy who wasn't doing well at school and his parents took him out of school and put him on this homeschooling program. And he had a homeschool tutor and they were talking about English. And he was like, oh, I don't like English. I can't write and rubbish at it. And the, the tutor said, what do you love? And he said, snowboarding. He said, well, then write about that, write about snowboarding. And then he realized his love of writing 
and the English language and that he could write really well about snowboarding. But he and just it, needed a subject that he was interested in. He just in. needed a subject that he was interested in. Yeah. And it's that, just I think it, that can that's the same with most. That's why we 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 find out what we're interested in so much later in life because we're taught that we have to do things a certain way and society tells us that we have to be able yeah. to do maths, English and science. Exactly. You know but those might not be your skills. Your skills might be creativity or you might have incredible people skills that you could learn through or just things that you're really passionate about like at that age, like football I mean, let's or be fair, people or... skills is either something you've either got or you haven't. But you I know, think it... you can you can learn certain things. Yeah, you? definitely. I mean, like, you, like, but it's instead of being told how you should be, teachers and education should look at who you are and talk to and teach you yeah your, the your child's interests and yes yeah that's so different in march 2022 inspired education group launched a pilot project to produce vr and the metaverse to two of their schools inspired will be the first global school group to build a metaverse school red Ham school in the uk is what they will base their metaverse school on, the school will be able to be access from anywhere in the world. That's really cool, isn't it? So cool. It's always the English schools they're based on, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. It's a very prestigious school, apparently, Redham. And that that the group, the Inspired Education Group, have schools all around the world. But they, and I think they teach differently. I think they do teach in a way that suits the student as opposed to what they should be taught so it'd be interesting to see what comes out of that wouldn't it absolutely see where the first graduation is yeah be five years time i expect but we've talked we talk about this all the time about how the metaverse just enables you to lift boundaries so this is just the start of our conversation about education in the metaverse imagine if a school purchased some land or built their own metaverse land and enable children through education to build their own homes and were given metaverse money like Roblox for services to the community and then live and look after their homes. There is so much academic education that goes along with this, but also you're enabling students to understand the realities of being an adult and owning a home and paying bills, being independent and building a community. The possibilities, again, are endless. It just needs imagination. Mm -hmm. So we hope you enjoyed this episode. Join us next week as we continue our journey into the metaverse. Bye for now. Bye-bye. Thank you for listening to this episode of Women of the Metaverse. You can find all information, links, and people we talked about in the show notes on our website. If you have enjoyed this podcast, please comment and subscribe. Join us again in the next episode as we continue this exciting Metaverse journey.